The millimeter wave E band measurement setup consists of a uh, E band transmitter, followed by a 20 dB attenuator, followed by an adjustable attenuator, such that we can get an input power to the harmonic mixer, the OML M12 HWD in this case, uh, to avoid the compression point of minus 10 dBm. The external mixer is connected up to the spectrum analyzer for the measurement. In this way, we're able to look at the transmitter modulated output, which in this case has 1.4 gigahertz of bandwidth. This is the actual setup for making an E-band transmitter measurement. The elements here in the middle is the transmitter that's under test. Uh, to the right, we have the microwave synthesizer, and to the left, we have a handheld spectrum analyzer, in this case, the VNA master from Anritsu. This configuration allows another approach to conducting the transmitter measurement using a spectrum analyzer. In this approach, the output of the radio is still the same with the fixed attenuator of 20 dB, followed by the adjustable attenuator with the micrometer mechanism for controlling power levels connected to the harmonic mixer. A new element in this setup is a diplexer that allows us to bring in the microwave signal and use it as an LO. In this case it will be a, a times five high side LO mix and uh, the IF includes a self-bias attenuator so we can bring the signal back to the spectrum analyzer for analysis. In this way we can do custom plans and optimize the setup for measurements using this external mixer approach. This is a measurement of the E-band transmitter output at 82.5 GHz using a 4 GHz band. The IF is centered at 2 GHz for our frequency plan. The signal level this corresponds to is minus 10 dBm at the input to the harmonic mixer. So the conversion loss of the harmonic mixer is not taken account in this measurement. The uh, important part of this is that we can vary the input signal to uh, reduce the amount of attenuation with the adjustable attenuator and similarly we can reduce the signal level by increasing the attenuation. In this way we can characterize the E-band transmitter for channel power, spectrum mask, and other popular measurements.